I Am Angus is brought to you by the Igenity Profile for Angus, the industry's most comprehensive DNA profile. So there's often a consumer perception that the entire US beef industry is founded and based on grain, and that's absolutely not true. If we think about the life cycle of a beef animal, they're in the cow-calf operation out on grass till they're weaned at about seven months of age or so, then only then do they go into the feedlot. If we look at one pound of beef, on average, that pound of beef, only 7% of the total feed used to make that beef is corn. All the rest is, is, is grass and hay and pasture and soy and other things, but it's only 7% corn. So we do use corn, and that allows us to be efficient, but it isn't a corn-based industry, ultimately. So when CBA came to me about two and a half years ago now, we'd published a paper in dairy comparing the dairy industry 1944 to 2007. So I was asked whether we could do the same thing for beef comparing 1977 to 2007. And the aim of that was really to show how the improved efficiency gains and productivity over that time have had a positive effect on land use, water use, carbon footprint and also energy use. So compared to 1977, for every pound of beef in 2007, we needed 30% fewer animals, we needed 33% less land, 14% less water, 19% less feed, and 9% fewer fossil fuels per pound of beef. So what that all adds up to is a 16% decrease in the total carbon footprint per pound of beef produced in 2007 versus 77. So the carbon footprint is something we can argue, argue about for hours and hours and hours. Is it true? Is it not? Is it a fact? The fact is that it is an issue for the consumer, for the retailer, for the processor and for government. So it isn't something as an industry we can ignore and put to the side. The positive thing that we do have is that things that we do to cut our total carbon in terms of improving productivity and efficiency will also cut land use, water use and energy use. Consumer choice is really, really important and everybody should have that option to buy corn-fed beef, grass-fed beef, local beef, organic beef. Those are all totally acceptable, viable systems. I think that the most important thing to understand from a carbon land and water point of view is that grain-fed actually uses far less land, far less water and emits far fewer greenhouse gases than grass-fed beef. So if we have our animals fed corn, they grow faster, they are slaughtered at higher weights, and those two things combine to mean that in total we need far fewer animals to make a set amount of beef, and those animals are on the planet in total for fewer days. By the year 2050, we're going to have about 350 million people in the States, and on a global basis, we're going to be at somewhere between 9.5 and 10 billion people, and that's a lot of people who want to eat beef. On that basis, we have a huge challenge, but also a, a, a huge opportunity to supply more and more people with safe, affordable, nutritious beef made in the most efficient way using fewer, res fewer resources, less land, less water, less energy, less fuels, and therefore being a totally environmentally friendly choice both now and in 20 or 30 years' time.